We continue to hear from women in our community struggling during this pandemic. Tonight, we introduce you to a single mom who hasn't been able to find a place to live since October. She tells our Katerina Krasafa she's desperate for help in our continuing coverage of her recession. Imagine being told you only have five days to find a place to live. That's the reality for one local woman who reached out to us for help. It, it shouldn't be this hard to live. A fight for survival. This is going on too long. Amy Jackson and her nine-year-old daughter Nyla have been staying with friends since October. As a single mother who couldn't afford childcare during the pandemic, she had no other choice but to stop working. I was working Pizza Hut and then COVID hit and they closed the schools and lost my job. Never did she think five months later she'd still be struggling. I'm emotionally drained. I don't, I mean, I'm at my wit's end. I don't know what else to do. Amy has been relying on a voucher from the Spokane Housing Authority to pay rent, but nothing available has been in her budget. With the voucher expiring in just five days, she worries her situation may be permanent. You know, I was donating plasma and sitting there just bawling because I don't know what else to do. Five days is not enough to, to find a place to live. And here in Spokane, it already was hovering at about 1% for available affordable units that would fit within a voucher price. And now it's it's drastically lower even because there's no movement in the housing market. It's very tough. While it may seem daunting, there are options. Amanda Sabert is the homeless services manager with SNAP. She says the first step is to connect with the Spokane Housing Authority. They have a landlord liaison there on site that works on situations like this. Sabert says they can make adjustments to vouchers or even offer an extension. When that's not an option, we could help connect her with our landlord liaison that might know of openings and might be able to help negotiate with landlords as well. SNAP also also offers a rapid rehousing program for singles or couples without children. For those with kids, she suggests reaching out to Catholic Charities. Because ultimately, it's our community and we're kind of all in this together. It's all Amy and her daughter have been asking for. There should be some more compassion in the world. Understanding. And a helping hand when times get tough. In Spokane, Katerina Krasafis, 4 News Now.